What is going on, Rise of Kingdoms fans? Wispy here. And real quick before we get started, so we went through our entire video, said everything we were going to say, felt good about it, looked over, and we weren't even freaking recording. So if you want, go ahead and drop some Fs in the comments below for that epic fail. But today's video I'm extremely excited about, and I think all of you guys will be extremely excited about it. Um, so we migrated, uh, we migrated out of kingdom 1720 and real quick before I tell you guys where we landed, uh, there was a few deciding factors to the reason we migrated. So one of the reasons that we migrated, I had been thinking about it ever since our last KVK, which um, I'm sure all you guys know what happened, but it weighed extremely heavy on me um, with what happened, even though there's nothing I could have done about the situation at all. Being the only YouTuber in 1720 um, kind of paints a bullseye on you, so like basically i am i was the public face for 1720 and the most more logical fans of rise of kingdoms and the player base the more intelligent ones they understood the situation um and that literally there's nothing i could have done about it but as you guys know like n there's 90 percent a huge chunk uh, can be very toxic at times and even though they know deep down that like they know there's nothing I could have done about it that I'm just an easy target that's basically what it is I'm the face and it's just easy to throw all blame on me and it kind of weighed heavy on me and after the KVK I talked to Farrell for a bit and he made me feel better about everything, and so I decided to stay and not leave. And I pretty much got over it and let it go. But basically, people have been leaving. We were getting people in, but you know how it goes when people that you're familiar with and your friends start to slowly leave and you start to look around and you're just like, man, Everybody I know is starting to leave, you know, and the friends that I have that are still in 1720, I'm going to miss those guys a lot. Um, they hold a special place in my heart as well as Kingdom 1720. It, it just kind of felt like it was time to leave. I felt like I had grown as much as I possibly could as a player, as a fighter, and as a content creator overall. In Kingdom 1720, like I felt I had accomplished everything I possibly could. Um, and you know, I'm only about a year into making videos, and I want to keep growing, you know, like I want to reach new heights, I don't want to plateau at all. And that was honestly that part alone was like the major reason why I decided to leave. So it had less to do with Kingdom 1720 and more to do with me wanting to grow as a player, a fighter, and mainly as a content creator. I want to be a better content creator and I want to come out with better content. You know, uh, I feel like you guys deserve it and it's just what I want to do. And so without further ado, the place we landed was Kingdom 1412. We came over to 1412, extremely excited to be here. Everybody has been super welcoming and awesome and extremely supportive. Um, the thing that drew me to 1412, uh, there was a few things. There were other kingdoms on the short list that I was thinking about going. I thought about Kingdom 17, or not 17, Kingdom 75. Um, I thought about uh, Kingdom 307 when they get out of their KVK. I thought of 1846. Uh, I thought of 
a bunch of king mainly big kingdoms because i mean that's the goal i want to bring you guys the best content the best kvks all that stuff are in the the large big kingdoms and what ultimately drew me to 1412 after speaking with their recruiter um i spoke to some of their kingdom officers they're so supportive of their content creators that it's it's ridiculous i don't think i've ever seen a kingdom support their content creators more than 1412 i mean you could say kingdom 75 but i mean that's that's just chiskel like he's going to be supported no matter where he is i mean he's the largest rise of kingdoms youtuber so i don't really count them but there are so many youtubers in 1412 and everybody gets supported the same amount that it's insane as you guys know shinshi 42 is in 1412 fleisch puddle cakes and there's like two or three other pretty good content creators in in this kingdom and I think the main reason I stayed in 1720 so long, besides, you know, my friends, basically it was my friends, but also it kind of made me feel more safe as a content creator being the only one in that kingdom, like where I'm still pretty new as a content creator, you sometimes get a little bit of insecurities and one being not wanting to be in a kingdom with another YouTuber, especially when they're bigger than you, um, because, you know, it kind of starts to creep in the back of your mind of like, you know, we might make the same content like people are. Why would they watch me when they can go watch this person? Like, how am I going to grow? And that was a complete negative way to look at things. And um, instead of looking at it correctly, which is, you know, learning from these other content creators that have years of experience and trying to and potentially maybe collaborating or working with them or just picking their brain and just learning how to be a better content creator in general instead of trying to do it on my own, which is what I was doing in 1720. I was like coming up with my own content on my own. Sometimes people would give me ideas like you guys. And then every once in a while, some random person would, but it, it, I was doing a lot of it on my own and yeah, I was growing, but I don't want to ever plateau. And so that was a major deciding factor in coming to 1412 i'm really excited to be here and i'm looking forward to the amazing kvks and content that i'm going to be able to bring you guys out of here so if you guys are excited as i am give the video a like also don't forget to subscribe because you're not going to want to miss any of the awesome content that's going to come out of this kingdom i'm looking forward to it um but yeah we're in 1412 Looking forward to everything that is to come. But until next time, I'm Wispy Gaming. I'll catch you guys in the next one.